the channel from Boss Fight Studios and the Legends of Lucha Libre, we got Lady Maravella. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Legends of Lucha Libre unboxing and review and today on the channel from the latest wave we've got Lady Maravella but for all your Legends of Lucha Libre needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in-stock items of course anything over $39 does ship free normally I'd go to a ringside collectibles to pick up my wrestling figures but it doesn't seem like ringside has these in stock uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna be carrying this line going forward I guess we'll see but you might be able to get them there uh, sometime very soon but of course these are hot off the truck in entertainment earth wait for them to go hot off the truck save 10% that's exactly what I did I do have Conan coming we will unbox him on the channel he's a couple days later in the ship department so I don't know what's up with that but we'll get to Conan eventually here and we'll eventually do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado let's take a look at old lady Maravella there she is I do like the packaging a whole lot on this one especially that pink background it really really does pop uh it feels really nice very elite style packaging I guess it's kind of got that you know square rectangular style box looking really good big big window box all the different accessories in there Legends of Lucha Libre down here Lady Maravella down there got a little thing here on the side it says say her name with the star on there eight and up warning choking hazard all that fun stuff nothing too fun on the side a little glamour shot on the side and then on the back we got the old cross cell of course we unboxed phoenix and penta on the channel we already did those guys last year uh and then we got conan here to come got a few action poses things like that a little tail of the tape let's see what it says about our old friend lady maravella stats height five foot five weight 139 pounds from Monterrey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Absolutely stunningly beautiful this time of year. Debuted 2009. Finishing move, the old cradle suplex. Very, very cool. One thing that's interesting is this package opens up very easy. There seems to be no tape, at least on mine, holding them in. So it's just uh, easily removable there. Pull this out and get the little pink background. How about that? Maybe use that for a little background diorama, something like that. Who knows? See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. The rare off to the side. We don't do that very often, so it's a special video here. We got the double plastic prison, it looks like. There she is. That's probably good if they're not taping the box. That way all the stuff won't slide out on accident, but very good in the plastic prison. The dual plastic prison, very rare. Usually only used for Star Wars, as we do know. And there it is put this back together and off to the side see you later goodbye and now let's take a look at this figure we'll take a look at the figure in the head but let's look at these extra hands first she did come to fight she's not messing around down in mexico she's got two fists of fury and i think really the only time i remember that sticks out in my head of seeing her wrestle was i think she was on an episode of impact way back in the day uh, against tessa blanchard maybe some of you guys remember that or maybe i'm dreaming who knows but obviously wrestles down in mexico much more who knows maybe we'll see more of her in the states eventually uh, she does come with two gripping hands here got to have some gripping hands to go along with the two fists and then we got the two open hands slapping hands splayed out hands whatever we want to call them here we do have those as well it's choose your own hand adventure as usual now here is a really cool one at first i thought it was a golf club uh but it's a big old selfie stick and selfie sticks are they still a thing there was a short window of time and i guess it was pre-covid covid uh bc covid we'll call it uh but uh before then there was people that would walk around and carry these things and i just thought it looked absolutely ridiculous i don't think i've ever used a selfie stick in my life but people would walk around the mall and they're taking their pictures and stuff it was a thing you had to be there if you're only like three years old you might not remember but i'm sure a lot of you guys do uh, but it does got a spot here to hold the phone looks really good got silver there it has the periscoping thing that looks really nice It'd be really cool if it actually worked but i could see how they couldn't do that got the black handle that looks really nice then you do get a nice cell phone with her very very cool and it's like i said i think i said this a while back it's really the year of cell phones in uh, wrestling action figures of course we got the poly dangerously one coming uh, that's going to be our next cell phone but a lot of cell phone talk uh, with action figures as of late and now can i get this in the cell phone holder there we go very very tight which you know what it is very good that it is tight because i could see if this was loose this phone would be lost very easily a very small accessory 
uh, but very cool how it fits in there. It'll always stay there. You're going to have to use this when you display her. Very, very cool. A little bit gimmicky, but it is cool. And it reminds me of pre-COVID time frames with people having those. So very, very nice right there. Now we get down to Lady Maravella, the figure here. And we're going to have to do a lot of comparisons because a lot of people do like these figures, myself included. That Phoenix and that Penta were absolutely awesome. And I even like their akin to basic figures with the Taya Valkyrie. I really do like this line. I just wish the scale was a little bit better. I know people say, well, what is scale? What is scale? It's their own line. Yes, I understand that. But when you're coming into this arena with figures that are very closely scaled to Jazzwares and Mattel, let's be honest, the big dogs, I think they would have a lot more buyers, a lot more eyes on them if they scaled perfectly with those figures. But that's just one opinion, and we'll do some comparisons later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. But we got Lady Maravella here. Let's look at her head first. We'll look at both heads. Uh, the stock head looking pretty nice. Looks like she even got by her lip. She has like a piercing in her like lip there, or outside of her lip, whatever you want to call it. Or whatever the kids are doing these days. But she does have that. That's nice attention to detail. Nice mask on her. Got her eyes behind the mask. Uh, the mask, of course, not going to be removable. It wouldn't be. Uh, nice hair sculpt on her. A nice brown color. Just an all-around good-looking uh, masked head. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a masked female. I always tell my wife, hey, why don't you wear that Ray Mysterio? mask around the house tonight uh, but yeah you know it doesn't happen very often but uh, I like the mask on this one nice pink and black attack then we get another one here which is more of a dark menacing mask all in black kind of blacked out here uh, but it has a smiling face on it so I don't know the uh, differences between these uh, but I would think if you're wearing the dark evil mask you'd have a frowning face like this is the mask you would wear at the end of a big hot feud or something it's a Tessa Blanchard if you will uh, Tessa Blanchard of course uh, but it does look good at the same time. Got the nice teeth smiling. A little bit more personality. I would honestly, I think the heads would look better with the mask switched uh, to me. Uh, choose your own head adventure, mask adventure, whatever you want to call it. A little different hair sculpt on this one as well. She's got the big ponytail here. A little bit more waviness to her hair. So definitely a different look here. So uh, choose your own adventure. Hardcore fans are going to buy two and they're going to display one with each head, I am sure. Of course, head is removable. Head side to side, up and down. Of course, you're limited by the back because of the hair, but front, you get pretty good down on this one. Uh, so you get all that, and of course, the head is removable. Arms go all the way around. You got the bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. Unfortunately, they are not pinless. Uh, pinless is the wave of the future. I love pinless. You guys know that, but it still looks good. At least the pins aren't too gaudy, uh, especially on smaller female arms. We do see that with jazz wears from time to time. Those pins are about as big as the arm. It is a little bit of an ugly sight from time to time, but this looks good for what it is. You got nice uh, forearm wristband there. Uh, sweatband, I guess. That is removable with the hand if you need to. And then, of course, hand side to side. Hands are removable. You do get the uh, hula hoop at the top. And you get waist as well. So you get both of that. You know, looking at this body, you could almost pop this head off. And you could almost use this as an AJ Lee. We all remember AJ Lee. It kind of reminds me of that uh, body style, I guess. Uh, she's got the pink and black uh, attack looking on her outfit here. Looking like she's a young member of the Heart Foundation. Got the M on her butt. Looking nice. She can do those big old boss fight splits if need be. No thigh cut, which doesn't disappoint me. I like the thigh cut, but if I had to give up some articulation, that would probably be one of the first ones to go. That or toe articulation, and there's no toe articulation on this. You get double jointed knees. Very nice. It's always interesting how they do this with the sculpted in knee pads. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just somewhere in the middle for me, but it is definitely something that sets them apart from the Jazzwares and the Mattels of the world. Definitely looks good. I should say skin tone is a nice kind of peach-ish peach -ish skin tone. Very interesting look to it. Uh, just very, very peach colored. And then I do got, oh, there you go. You can get her hips. There you go. You get that hula hoop. You can get that kind of off-centered and it looks a little bit funny. Uh, but very, very interesting articulation. But it feels good in hand. It flows really good. Uh, I have no problems with that. There is no boot cut, but you do get ankles. Very good ankle movement on it. Much better than Mattel's ankle movement, I will tell you that. And uh, I don't know. Will she fit on a ringside stand? Uh, do I have a ringside stand? What are we doing? Oh, I got one right here. I was going to say, do I not have one handy? I usually have a stack, but I must have used them all. I got one right here. So we got a ringside stand. Will she fit on that stand? Oh, yes, she will. Use discount code Kyle. Save herself 10%. She does fit on that stand. You got to force it in there a little bit, but she definitely does fit. So that's always good to see. Not a bad figure for what we have right here. Not super, super familiar with the work, 
but it's always cool to really build out the shelves, build out some of the different federations, some of the different wrestlers from across the world, and that's what we get here with the Legends of Lucha Libre. Now, we got to go to the big test here is the scale test. That's one of the biggest questions about this line. Have they fixed the scaling? What's going on with the scaling? Uh, some people say it's good. Some people say it's terrible. Some people say it's in the middle. It seems like it runs the whole gamut of scaling, I guess. But she is supposedly five foot five. So note that. And we're going to start it off. And we're going to grab from Boss Fight Studios, we're going to grab the Taya Valkyrie figure, a very, very underrated figure. Obviously, she's been in WWE, NXT, uh, Impact, all over the place. So... Uh, a very known property here, but she is supposedly five foot eight. So we're going to stick these two side to side, and they are basically the same exact height. So five, 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 eight. I mean, some hair in there a little bit, but you're basically the exact same size between these two females. So technically not right, but it's very close. Obviously, five, 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 three are very close, but they look about the same exact size to me. So for those keeping track at home, yeah, there you go. How about we move into a little Jazzwares action here? And uh, we had to get my girl Rio, of course, the litmus test on female wrestlers across the board. Peg warmer of the century, really, at the end of the day. She's going on three years on the pegs, as you guys see in my figure hunt videos. But Rio, little Rio, only five foot one. I could put her in my pocket almost. Uh, but Rio right there. She is towering. She is towering right there. She is uh, much taller than Lady Maravella, and she's four inches shorter in real life. So that's not working so hot there against Jazz Wears. Uh, I did grab a Jade Cargill, probably the biggest female wrestler right now. Probably Raquel Gonzalez is right there with her, but she is five foot ten, same height as my wife. Uh oh, Taya. Taking a header. Same height as my wife, for those keeping track at home. My wife uh, comes from a land of giants, as do I, apparently. But 5'10 versus 5'5. Five five. Now, that looks a little bit more correct to me. Uh, but you got that comparison right there with Jade Cargill, of course. Then let's bring it over to the Mattel WWE Elite line. And I grabbed Queen Zelina, of course, one of the latest female figures we've unboxed here on the channel. And much like Rio, I can put her in my other pocket as she is 5'1". So we see that right there. And this looks a little bit better. So Lady Maravella is at least taller than her. It's not quite that big of a difference, but it is a little bit. We'll say it's an inch or two. So I think we're in the ballpark with that. I think that does work. So I guess from what we're seeing here, this scales the best with the WWE Mattel Elites, not Jazzwares, definitely, and is a little funky in its own line of the Legends of Lucha Libre when you compare the Taya. But I think this is close enough to be dangerous as far as Mattel goes uh, with the Queen Zelina figure. And then I thought just for the heck of it, we'd grab Series 1 Penta, an absolute fabulous figure. It is a little bit small. I wish it was bigger, but man, what a figure this is. Hopefully you guys got that one. You can kind of see the comparison there as well. So an interesting Murder's Row lineup here of height differences. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's not 100% terrible unless you're in the Jazzwares arena. That's my final ruling, like a young Judge Wapner. That's what uh, I'm doing right there. So I've uh, sealed the deal right here on the channel at this table that I sit. You guys know how that goes. But uh, what are your thoughts on Lady Maravella? What are your thoughts on the boss fight Lucha Libre figures? You picking any of these up? You picking and choosing? You totally out. You say, I can't collect any more wrestling lines. I guess let me know your thoughts on this one right here. And of course, like I said, we'll have Conan here uh, sooner than later, much earlier on the Patreon, as we always do say. But make sure you do like this video. It always helps the channel. Give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Don't forget about the Patreon, early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, and best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the legends of Lucha Libre, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.